of what we have gone through so far. Uh, not so far, right? It's just here. It's here. You can see me a lot. I can't see myself. <laughs> can see you. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> we're just gonna do a quick recap of, of uh, the three things. Okay, there are three things that I need you to remember. Do you remember what I asked you to remember? The three special algebraic formula? Yes, one person remember. Do you remember? Uh, yeah, I think, I think so. Three special algebraic formula. Do you remember? Uh, because yesterday what I did was I only tested one direction, I didn't test the other direction. Okay, there are two directions that we need to be very good at. Okay, so I'm gonna get, since there are three of you here now, uh, you can tell me one. Okay, can you tell me the first one? Yuki? A, B. A, B? A, 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 B. Yeah, A plus B. Bracket square. Uh-huh. Equals to. Um, a square plus yes. a a two a b yeah plus two a b plus b, plus square. b square. Okay, once you have the first one, the second one is easy. Alright, chemistry. Plus a minus b. Yeah, a minus b square equals to a square minus, a. minus two a b plus b square. And the third one. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, uh, a plus b. Yeah. Okay, a plus b. Um, times a minus b. A minus b. Uh, equals to. Wait, wait. I need a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. This is a revision, right? This is a simple revision. Uh, a square minus b square. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. yeah. So this is the easy thing, right? This is the easy part because uh, in the questions they don't give you a and b or a or b. They give you all sorts of stuff, right? So what we're gonna do is I just want to test everybody, you know, uh, the reverse first. Okay, start from Yukin, okay? What is the reverse of this one? Yukin. The reverse of this? A plus B, a plus B times. Bracket. Yeah, bracket means times. Bracket A plus okay. B times. Um A minus B. Yeah, very good. Okay, how about this one? Yes, Yukin, Yukin. Me? Yeah, you all three. You can't this. Um, a plus B times. Yeah, A minus B. Yeah, A minus B bracket square. Bracket this one? A plus B bracket square. Okay, uh, Josh. Yeah, yeah. What is the reverse of this? Uh, a plus B bracket. Uh, Times a minus b. Yeah, that's right. How about here? Uh, <laughs> a minus b squared. Yeah, what is? a plus b squared. Okay, well done, right? Now, because she has memorized everything, we're gonna give her a difficult one, right? So, we're gonna try uh, complicated stuff. 2 plus x bracket squared. Should you can tell me what is this? Uh, Expanded form. 4 plus. Yeah. Well done. Okay, th that's what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do. You understand? <gasps> you must like process like the brain, then phew, come out like that. You understand? Okay? Can I? Yes, yes, I see you can nodding. Ah, can, no problem. Okay, now you try. You can. <laughs> X plus 1. Try easy one too. X plus 1 squared. Remember, this is A squared. Uh, yeah? X. X squared. Yeah. Plus. Plus. <laughs> I'm just mimicking her face. Right? <laughs> <laughs> two AB. Two AB. X. 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 X.
Because two AB, yeah. yeah two yeah, times so, x yeah. times half, no? Uh, 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 wait. Two times uh, x times half. Two times x. X. Yeah, very good. This plus x plus. plus one yeah, one quarter. Okay, so this is your uh, rule number one. You gotta be able to expand it this way. Now we try rule number two. So obviously everything changes. Everything change to minus. Minus, minus, minus. Right? Uh, okay, come see. What's this? No, it's negative. One. Yeah, this one. Four. Four. Yeah. Plus x squared. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yuki. Next one. Two. Eh, no, 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 no. X squared. X squared. Minus. Yeah. A squared. Two squared. Two. Eh, two, two squared. <laughs> two x. Yeah. Uh, plus one. Plus one. Okay, one square <laughs> is still one, right? And of course, the joint should have one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Minus, no, it's right. minus. X square. Yep. Yeah. Minus. Uh, two x oh, minus x. Yeah. Plus one quarter. Plus one quarter. Okay, very good. So what you realize is that uh, once this changes to a minus, um, actually the all the terms are the same as the positive, just that the first sign becomes negative. Okay, you just switch, just switch, right? So this is rule number two, which is uh, very well done. You know how to do. Now how about rule number three? So rule number three, uh, we know the forward method. Now I want to do the reverse. Uh, what do I mean by the reverse, right? So for example, I have a, a x squared minus nine. Whoa, what's x squared minus nine? So reverse, reverse. Yeah. Wait, wait, did you say x plus 3 is minus 3? Yeah. Okay, see this, right? So can you see that? Forward, backward. This is rule number 3. Forward and backward. Now, why is this equal to this? Because uh, what is our rule? Our rule says that a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared, correct? And why the, the yeah. 9 not squared? Why the 9? Uh, very good question. You see, this 9 is actually 3 squared. Disguised. Hidden. Okay? It's hidden. So your A is X, B is 3. Alright? 3 times 3 is 9. 3 squared. It's 9. <laughs> no! I mean, it's oh, square, isn't it? 9 times 2? No, square means <laughs> times itself. Hello. Times itself. Okay, you multiply itself. Good question, okay? So, you see, you don't want to ask this question during the exam. Uh, when I was sec 1, I was asking myself, it was 3 squared, isn't it 6? You know? <laughs> so, so, you want to clear that first, right now, before the exam. You understand? You clear that first. You know, you spend half a... You know, I actually spent a long time during the exam, figuring out what is 3 squared. Right? What's 3 squared? Ah? Is it 6? Eh, why? No, it's not 6. 2 times 3 is 6. Then what's 3 times 3? No, 3 times 3, no. The confusion. You understand? So you clear it now. What's 3 squared? You keep... <laughs> 9. Yeah, it's 9. Okay, can? Okay, now we're going to try another one. So let's say I have a uh, 1 quarter minus uh, uh, y squared. Uh, okay, let's have... Uh, so you want more time? Uh, 1 eighth. 1 eighth. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's where you have an issue. It's not 1 eighth. Oh, ha, ha. ha, correct. See? So ha plus y, ha, take away y. Okay, can you see that? Right? So, you must be careful with this. Okay, okay, now you can start, right? We try uh, x squared minus uh, 16. x squared minus 16. What's x squared minus 16? Uh, x squared minus 16. Um, x plus 4. Yeah. 
x plus 4 what is that? yeah uh, x minus, minus 4. 4 okay very Take away 25. Um, x plus 5. Yeah. Times x square plus 16. See? Oh, x minus 8 now. It's the same as the. Yeah. Oh, x square plus 16. Huh? <laughs> 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 Very funny. Oh, can I not? Can I reverse? Yeah, but it's like, she said no, but it's like, no, <laughs> maybe, yes. Okay, who says you can reverse? Don't raise your hand. Uh, all of you say can reverse. I uh, say, who say can reverse, don't raise your hand, right? So you never raise your hand means can reverse. So when you reverse it, what do you get? You keep. X plus, four times x plus 4 x plus 4 times x plus 4 is it? I think so Okay, let's analyze, right? What is x plus 4 times x plus 4? Isn't this x plus 4 square? Right? Mm. So what's x plus 4 square? According to rule number 1 x square plus 8x plus 16 Not same, eh? Not the same Okay, so it's not the same You don't find out Okay, this is actually a trick question. Minus. No, no, trick question means cannot do. Bye bye. <laughs> Don't have. Okay, why? Uh, the rule specifically says minus. You must minus. It's a square minus b square. This so is a square plus. They, if, if they give you this, you can't do anything. You just leave it like that. So I put. No, no, just leave it. <laughs> just leave it like okay. Yeah, fine. Good. <laughs> leave it there. Don't touch you. you understand? Are you sure? Or not? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm very, very sure. Don't get wrong. Don't get wrong. There's nothing you can do to factorize this. Okay, so this direction, uh, you gotta understand this. This direction is called factorize. Right? This direction is called expand. Okay, because uh, why do you need to know the difference? Because in the in the in the uh, questions they will specify whether is it to factorize or to expand so just looking at the keywords will give you a clue uh, as to what you need also, to do also you mean like the answer might be that and then they'll tell you to expand yeah, so, and so, then you have to leave it like that yeah so for example if they ask you to factorize can you see what is the characteristic of all the algebraic answers after factorization huh? what what's, what's 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 something similar over here numbers no, no, no. Th 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 there's something similar here. The minus sign. All of them, all of them. There's something one similar of them. Yeah. It's not one plus or minus. There's something similar among all yeah, the two answers. Two brackets. Ah, oh, very good. Two brackets. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is a very important um, uh, realization. Why? You see, uh, if I have 16, let's say I give you the number 16, and I ask you to factorize 16, what do you get? Give me the factors of 16. Factors of 16. Primary school question. Factors of 16. Yeah, so uh, one example is 1 times 16. How you come up with the factors is 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 4 times 4. Hey, Mr. Dietrich, just woke up. 4 times 4. Right, so what are all the factors of 16? 1, 2, 4. Eight, numbers. Yeah, numbers. But can you see that? Can you see that over here is something times something? They are always something times something. So it's always bracket times bracket. That is what we are doing here. So factorize always means the final output must be something times something. Bracket times bracket. Is that okay? Are you okay, Dietrich? Are you a little bit grumpy today? No. Oh, are you grumpy every morning? No. No, uh, now you look happy every day. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> so are you grumpy or happy? Normal. Okay, so factorize means you want bracket something times something. You gotta understand that. Though, because uh, in the exam questions, 
they always tell you factorize or expand factorize or expand right so when you see the word factorize i always want bracket times bracket okay then when i expand is different right expand is like a simplified form okay okay so this is what we did yesterday the last part okay which is all the quadratic equation expansion right so here is expansion which is at page 38 so let's turn to page 38 this is expansion okay we're actually left with uh, two more questions which is 9 and 10 right okay i'm going to expand uh, 9 and 10 for you at page 38 Right, so here's one example. The question is A, B, C minus 1 squared. This is 9. A, B, C minus 1 bracket squared. Alright, so this is actually rule number 2. I use rule number 2, which is A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. So A squared, this, is, this whole thing is my A. So I get A, B, C squared minus 2, A, B, plus b squared all right so what is a b c squared what's a b c squared a squared b squared c squared very good all right a squared b squared c squared here's just two a b c all right so that's the final answer next is x So I have 4x squared y minus xy squared and the whole thing is squared again. Alright, so uh, okay, let's go on the other line. A squared minus 2 a b plus b square right so when you need to square this basically you square all the components inside all the elements right so 4 square is 16 x square square is x power 4 y square is just y square take away 8 um, x cube y oops there's a square here cube plus x square y 4 okay so that's the final answer is it alright? Is it alright? Okay. okay, so this is the expansion. Now there's another type of okay, this is expansion using the formula. That means you use the rule one, two, or three. Right? There's another expansion, another type of expansion which you don't need to use the formula. Now sometimes you can use, sometimes you don't need to use. Okay, so let's take a look at page 39. Okay, can you quickly copy this first? Um, yeah. I didn't bring my calculator, so can I use my phone for a calculator? I have, I'll let oh, you know. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. okay, so uh, I want to look at the question number two. Right, so please quickly copy this. Copy this, copy this. These are all uh, set two essential, right? Basically, the in in our set one math class, they are already doing this. They have been doing this for the past three weeks, right? Set one math class. We have a set one math class, but these are set two stuff, right? Okay, so now let's continue. Now, if you look at the next page, which is thirty nine. We have all the different types of expansion. So let me just show you how it works. Okay, so the next part is expansion. So let's expand 4x plus y times 2x plus 3. Now what we do is we look at this and uh, we determine is there any rule that we can use for this particular one? There isn't, right? So if there is no rule that you can use for this, what you do is you do the rainbow method like this. <coughs> right, so 4x times 2x will give you 
8x squared and then uh, 4x times 3 is 12x and next one uh, 2x times y is 2xy and 3 times y is just 3y yeah. 8x squared yeah. okay. so uh, and this is the final answer right? this is the expanded form now how do I know this is the final answer because if you look at all the terms right? this x squared, this x, this xy, this y they are all different, you cannot merge them you cannot do any operations for them Understand? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your phone acknowledges. Okay, next. Uh, okay, I just want to look at three. Two part three. Now this one is special. 4p plus q. Uh, 4p take away q. Do you recognize something from here? Uh, Joash? Yes. Do you recognize anything from here? 4p plus q, 4p okay. minus 4p and q is the square. Yeah, 4p is repeated, right? 4p is repeated, q also repeated. So which rule do you think you can use for this? Um, the third line. Yeah, very good, right? So this is actually a plus b, a minus b. So what is the uh, outcome if you have a plus b, a minus b? Uh, so a square minus b square, correct? So this is your a, so we get 4p square minus q square and uh, immediately we get 16p square take away q square so can you see that i don't need to do the rainbow no need rainbow if i do the rainbow method i will get the same outcome as well okay so this is called quadratic expansion and because these are all second materials you'll be dealing with power two power two right can you see that all power two Power two. I gave the introduction yesterday. Okay, so this uh, when you see sec, uh, this a uh, power two, you know stuff is like sec two stuff, right? If you see power n stuff, then uh, most likely it's sec two stuff. Now I'm gonna leave you to try to do the rest of the questions and yeah, that's it. Okay, try to do the rest individually. Okay.